Okay. Yeah. So, you wanted to share your story that day, but we ran out of yes. time. So, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, this story I want to share. It happened to me when I was in the university. Mm. You know, I school in University of Benin. And, you know, when I got into school, like every jambite, we believe that, oh, in the university, you know, lecturers are like gods, you know, you're going to be taught by professors, smart people and all of that. But when I, when I got in, I discovered that some, in fact, like 40% of my lecturers, they were not interesting. So school became tiring to me. Many times I sleep in class, you know, when some lecturers are teaching and all of that. In fact, I nicknamed one of my lecturers, board chairman. Board chairman, I was the one that gave him that name. You know why? Right. Among my boring lecturers, he was the most boring. So the board chairman <laughs> is B-O-R-O-E-D, not B-O-A-R-O-D. <laughs> yeah, the board chairman. So he's the chairman of all of them, all the boring lecturers. In fact, there was one day I went to his class. I slept from the, as he walked into the class, I slept off. And then by the time I woke up, it was somebody that tapped me. It was another class because in Uniben, what happens is lecture theaters are not enough. So uh, it's not one class to a particular level. So it was 300 level that was the main class. I was in 100. Mm -hmm. So they woke me up. I woke up, I was very embarrassed that it was more than 300 people in class. So the prof told them to wake me up. I woke up and I saw faces I didn't know. So he asked me, are you in this class? I said, it depends. And then everybody laughed. So he walked me out of the class and that was it. But God helped me, you know. I just, you know, kept going to the classes and all of that. And finally I graduated. Now, Bob Chairman was my project supervisor. Even though he gave me... A Yes, he gave me an A in the project because I, I was so used to him. So I did that project good, and then I got an A. But finally, I was, I was posted to River State to serve for youth service. I was happy that going to River State, oh, maybe they will post me to an oil company. Life done better from there, you know. Uh -huh. So I got to River State. After camp, do you know the difference? I, in camp, I was I was the major MC in camp. For me, I like talk well, well. So I thought maybe that connection would you know send me to oil company, but finally I was sent to a government school, secondary school, government school. The difference, it was then I got to know that some rich people in River State they send their children to government school. Rich what? guys. Yes, there are rich people. I'm telling you what happened to me. That, that, that's the story I'm going. Now, when I, when I got to that school, they told me to go and teach CROS because I was in the arts. And I told them, no, I, I really, I'm good in mathematics still date. I'm a mathematician. So I told the principal that I don't want to teach something that will make me feel dull. I want to teach math. So after all the arguments back and forth, I, when I try to open my math brain now, uh, AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. If you solve by completing the square method, you get X is equal to minus B plus or minus root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. I just enter, so you know, give some mathematical formula. Ah, my principal said, this guy, good, okay, you teach math. So I was teaching JSS 1. It was not interesting, but my kind of person, I did like talk with people, they are raising in high. But do you know, on the 10th month of my service, that was when I, one little boy, he came to me, brought a letter from his dad. Said, my dad said I should give you this letter. I mean, this is my money day inside, oh, go with dollar. This one with your flat. By the time I opened the letter, I opened the, uh, this envelope. It was one, one page of uh, this thing. So when I read, the man not talk too much. He just talk, uh, you know, my son loves your class. Good morning, sir. My son likes you, the way you teach. I would like to see you if you don't mind. So that afternoon, I said, okay, no, Alana, now. Miss school close my follow the boy, go see his father. That was the first time I noticed that this boy was coming to school in a convoy of three vehicles. He had four mopo, 
that small boy in government school in River State, for Mopo, Prado G, uh, Hilux. So, Hilux of front, Hilux of back, Prado was center. Now, I follow the small little motor and say, Bob, what did they have? We got to his dad's office. T today, that is, I don't know how many stories that will be because the thing told when I glass from ground to up. So I used a private elevator to his office. He has his own elevator dedicated. That one, they're not a punch anything. Once he opened, as you enter, he closed. Now straight to the boss office. I got to the office. I can never forget. That guy was watching CNN. Quest means business. Mm. The guy, see that, your office, your office is massive. See that, they watch TV. So, you know, I trip that day. He tell me, my pick one magazine. The guy give me the magazine. Say, my open. Now, building school, and I caught see baby, now, building contractor. Do you know when I was done with the magazine? Because, do you find it interesting? I said, hey, it's interesting, sir. Then, he now said, choose any of the buildings from the first three pages. That is where you will stay for the next five years if you take my contract. <laughs> that if I, I slap myself, man, no way that not dream. You know, <sighs> I said, not be dream, be this, you know, real life. So I chose one of the duplexes, that one has seven bedroom duplex. So three vehicles in the compound. He now said, I want to give you my offer. Said I will pay you at the end of five years. He not tell me how much he want to pay me. He now said, however, I will give you a stipend of fifty thousand naira weekly. That the phrase my head daily bust because nineteen thousand eight hundred was my allowance monthly. Now he's giving me stipend of fifty k weekly. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we die here. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we are. Ah! So I didn't bother to ask him how much he would pay at the end of five. Ufi, give me 200k a month. Nah, nah, ah. Well, I'm not there now. I had access to the three cars in the compound. He had a gate man in the house, a gardener, a cook. I know they wash cloth. Even those in a washing machine, I would drop out the washer for me. So my job was teach this boy mass after school hours. I was staying in the house for free. I had access to three vehicles. I could travel from uh, Potako to Benin. I travel every, every week. I travel now. Just in time. I'm not the best way. He <laughs> tank full. As I go, I <laughs> come. Life was easy. That if it's, see, now that I'm going say, yes, eh, five years eh, is short. No, 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 five years don't reach. We not tell you. Five years don't reach. The boy left secondary school. He had an A1 in maths. He don't get maths while I don't read. For that maths, because that boy, I did read everything because of that boy. So, as he finished, the fact that I just take to US, me, go, go. Because I engineer it, the guy say he want to do electrical engineering. Meanwhile, the father is a, one of the major contractors to share. Now the guy be. So when I finish the five years, this man say, my day, may people carry me, could not me drive now. He sent two Mopo follow me for the Prado. He give me cash that if it's six million naira cash. The money not shock me because I don't I don't used to the man say the man get money. No man. Do you know that by the time I did reach Benin? The guy, my alert show 36 million. I get it crazy. Now, see, now, see, I need to do something spectacular with this money. That was when I built my first house. In fact, when I built the house, eh, I had to, I had to build to the standard of where I don't stay for the past five years, you know. So when I finished building, there's one comedian in Benin called MC Casino, the kind of popular guy. He get like, I think, almost one million followers on Instagram, Facebook, get millions of followers. When I finished that house, the day with the commission, the house, I bring MC Casino, all my friends, they gather, we open gates down. Let me go carry something for Motu, 
Nati cites both chairman and the worker they come. Both chairman of that time. Now Yo, both chairman street. Now both chairman street, I go build house. <laughs> hey, both chairman, wait, wait, for you the bed. Now the streets are good as. But chairman do the pass. But chairman see me. I greet her. He answer me. He say, ah, ah. Now you get us. Now it's not me. You. He say, clean things. Say who get the house? They work for a company. Say for different best story. We put on for streets. So I say now a company they work. So I say they are broad. Different things. But now like three months I they build the house. Sharp, 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 sharp. House done complete. Now but chairman say making con chop rice. Now this a tissue for you never now. Now we bring both chairman. I'm a chairman. See that he job. As a job, in the same point, we come and make talk something about me. Now say casino give me a microphone. DJ stop music. Now they give both chairman microphone. That the phrase you know go believe. See both chairman go they talk. As both chairman they talk, people go to sleep. As if before you need that time. As if they don't go to sleep because when the both chairman go they talk. Now nah, that course when the teachers for year one that time for uni men. <laughs> oh now nah, see MC Casino collect microphone for both chairman. Now nah, Casino see now nah, your former lecturer you go collect the mic. <laughs> now <Nah, laughs> he get up. <laughs> As I said, we can collect mic from both chairman. Hand. Now nah, I wake up. Now nah, you see, wake up. Eh, uh, both chairman see the class. Your microphone. You see they talk. <laughs> Oh, for your mind now, you wind us. Daddy, please. This thing, eh, true, true, happened to me. As in, as, as I had to explain this story, so that's why they have for the class, for the dream, everything. <laughs> you know, as, as I see this guy, was <laughs> two hours class. I live all those years. I teach this boy, the boy finish school, <laughs> everything. <laughs> now, so this true life story to happen. <laughs> That's so. That, you say thirty-six million naira. Yes. <laughs> the lesson for mathematics. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Now, you don't worry us today. I swear, this is the highest cruise of my life. Mister, you can't sweet me. Ah, I nearly turned out to sermon. <clears throat> Oh, you know, as a man of God, everything a motivation, a sermon. I don't calculate if I do it like this, do it like this, do it like this. Hey, someone. This story too sweet. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh -huh. The other day we had a woman, a lady, a good friend of mine, who lived in a haunted house. Hmm. Who lived in a haunted house? Please join me and share your own stories. Hmm? <sniffs> Testimony. This one I taste the money. In taste the money for dream. Good script. Hey. Hashala Lunla. Someone said he has a story to share. Okay. Tell your story. Haunted house. It's all ah, we did that last time. Very lovely story. Have you also ever lived in a haunted house before? Please, I don't want any dreams again. If you can't call me and give me a dream. Uh -huh. Are they free? Yes. Good evening. Brother. Hi. Yeah, good evening. Uh -huh. I'll be fine. Oh, good yeah. evening, everyone. Oh, yeah, I won't hear your story. Are they free? My own be dream. Hmm. So a reality. Oh yeah, we did wait. How you take up? And oh no, good. Um, I get one uncle for but I got back then. Mm. So then we small then we they go this Arabic school then we they go to the uncle place. Mm -hmm. We we'll go drinking, tea, chopping bread, chop everything. Mm. So all of a sudden, I saw the uncle. My uncle can't travel then. Travel go UK then. So as they travel, I still keep in contact. As they try to reach out, we plan to be like nine guys then where they go in place. So I still keep in contact. He said? Na girl, please. No, no, no. My uncle, na guy, guy, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm, so he was in contact for them. 
So we used to go to his place in Portacourt. Mm. We go drink it, chop in bread, you know. We did yeah. like nine guys, with nine guys really go in place then. So in contrast, we go abroad. We went to the UK. So since then, I still kept his contact. I've mm. been reaching him before WhatsApp can come out. So you get. Mm. So I see the reach out for WhatsApp, the reach out, the reach out. So I um, can't get one small project in country to do for my area, for Lagos. Then I relocate to Lagos. Mm. So you can't get small project in the do then. So now so you can't call me, you can't tell me, say, make a committee for a place for Lagos. Why are they doing projects? She gets. Mm. So I can't go. As I go, he come around that day. He came from UK then. So we now met after this while, after donkey, donkey of years. Mm. So as we come meet now, so you can't tell me, say, I had the project with you. So this, that, that, he told me about the project. So I even saw it. You understand? So since then, he now started sending me on an errand. So, and if he send me a message, I will tell him the exact. If he tell me, say, if I get something for her, the exact mm -hmm. amount that he could tell her, I need to add anything. So I'm always, I've been sincere to him. So that's what the man wanted to say. So a person like this still dates Nigeria. Hmm. So a person like this still dates Nigeria. I saw him go this in the same anything send me I will go and I will tell him the exact amount. I'm always I'm always sincere to him. Even say if he send some people message me, then go get something for him, then go they lie. Something of twenty thousand, I didn't say at thirty, then thousand and fifty. Once he call me, I will go, I will tell him the exact price. I saw the man like me. Before you know it, that the freeze. So the wife come and say, although you don't train on the team, say I go call you can do masters. Hmm. So that's so what the wife come and ask and say, this boy is with this is like this. Which qualification this boy gets? That's so my uncle then the wife say, I say, I'll be BS you that. And the wife say, you know, this boy, he need to come to UK. Hmm. That the freeze. That's why I take entire UK today. Yeah, I don't even add up my master's. I just finished. So I graduate on the 25th. On the 5th of November. Honest. Exactly. And that is fees. My mama prayer follow. My mama prayer. Yeah, she's late. I pray that God should forgive her. She's late. Very nice woman. I pray I follow. So I pray I said, I carry me this way I give you. Oh. As I talk to you now, that is I'm talking to you from London. Hey, show us. Yeah. Up. We take believe you. Make we see in London you day. Okay, I'm coming. Let me go outside. Because after I don't hear Peter Ibojele's story, to believe anybody. This one no be. This one no be dream. This one no be dream. Oh. I'm coming. Let me turn the camera. This oh. is London. Ah, yeah. don't be worried with this. This place be like worry. <laughs> okay, we might show you plate number. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. True, true. True, true. Look true. at the yellow line. Look at the yellow line. Yeah. Ah, but this guy, okay, park for double yellow. Now, double yellow is supposed to park. Mm, yeah. Uh, now, double yellow. Yeah. Uh, in try. Yes, in try. <laughs> in try, over try. And I see lawyer to ram up to you. Even if you call me now, Seth. Now we there we there around the let me see. Yeah, this is twelve twenty. If you come in and say, say my the coming place now. Or send me any message at the goof. Hey yeah. The guy like me, the guy like me scatter. Even that if he's not gonna shock you, no be no leave me. I'm me, me and my family, all of us there now. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us we are here, we're in the UK. Hey. So Morning. my tell people, sincerity, sincerity goes a long way. Oh, Nice. No be any small, yeah. No be say anything. The same person you go to look say I mean money come, I mean money come. Money is not everything that the freeze. Mm. 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 Money is not everything. So I'm just, I'm sharing my testimony to lines to tell oh. people that there is there is dignity in labor and hard work and hard work and sincerity and sincerity and, and that the freeze above all we should be nice to our parents because their prayer goes a long way. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the language. Some know they wish person well. Oh, uh, con bro, congrats! Thank you very much, Daddy. So, my honor is dream when I reality. <laughs> no.
dream, no be dream. Well done. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Hi, you're so really sweet. Yeah, thank you very much. We've heard the funny. We've heard a funny story. We've heard an inspirational story. I want to hear a scary story. Did anybody live with ghosts? Was your mother a witch? All those kind of stories. I want to hear those kind of stories too today. Nene Ba says she wants to share. I can't seem to be able to get requests. I don't know what's wrong with my Instagram. So let me just invite her directly. <laughs> Nene. <sighs> Excuse me. My allergy don't come back again. No. Okay. Hi, Daddy Freeze. Hello, where are you? You that want to share story? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, Daddy Freeze, I just picked up my son from a soccer practice. <laughs> Sorry, I was well, calling. You to share your story. Yes, I wanted to share it. I was not driving then, but he just finished now. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah. um, going to be able to share. So, my own story is like my ex husband. That man was your face. Up. Say, yes, we want to see your face well. Oh, uh, yeah, but because I'm driving, I, I cannot keep the camera on like that. Okay, how far away is your house or where you're going to? Uh, okay, I'll share it another day. I'm like 45 minutes away. Oh, oh wow, 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 yeah. wow. Oh, okay. No, I cannot do it. It's raining. I'm driving. Okay, I'll share it another day. Oh, don't worry. Share it like this now. Anyway, let's hear you. Go okay. Money. So, Michael, put your GPS on for me. Um, so my ex-husband, I was with him for so long. That man was cheering like he was a serious cheater. So I tried to left him when I was in Africa, but I couldn't because of the society. They would be like, oh, you have kids for this man. You have to stay and all of that stuff. I, I thought to myself, the only way I can walk out of this marriage is by traveling. So when I travel, I know that everything is done. Nothing is going to be between us. And when he knew that I'm about to travel, he said, I should come swear. I should do a... He went and took a blood and put it in the water with salt or something like that. In my mind, I was like, God, if you know this man has not been doing anything bad to me, let just anything he's saying happen. But if you know, like, um, he has been cheating, he's been doing all kind of stuff, oh, this way it's not going to hold or nothing. So I did, I took it because... He was holding on to my passport like I couldn't travel. Like, and my uncle was trying to find a way, like, where else we can walk around that. Like, so, like, let me just do anything and just leave. So I did that. Yeah. I'm listening. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't want to say too much, but I think that's it. I did the uh, blood swearing so that, like, I'm not going to leave him. Well, I left him anyway because I've made up my mind, like, I was going to leave him. So that's yeah. by the blood oath. Yeah. You still left him. Yeah, because I made up my mind I was going to leave him because he was doing all of that stuff. Because he knew that then. That's why he did that, like, to, I don't know what his plan was. But, like, yeah, I did that. I took the oath. Left. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Lovely story. Arole. Say. Thank you so much. No, I saw Arole in the building. Let me bring him up. Let's see if he has a story. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, my darling Nene. Love you. You you welcome. Love you too. All right. Come make I go Facebook, go buy stuff, and they hear story free of charge. This kind of nonsense with this. When I just open here, ah, I like this story. I like this story. Where is Arule? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Arule, can't talk story. Everybody's sharing their story today. Sir, 
The only story I want to... <laughs> that is... eh? the only story we I want to talk we say you I don't know how to explain you. That's the only story. <laughs> you know, tell us story I take the ballet for you, Deco. That is me. That is me. Leave me, oh. just leave me like that. Oh yeah, tell that us. Me. No, we did this. A government is human, she might know. No, sir, I tell you, what kind of. The ballet, I see the double, I say, hey. I do That is really. That is really. That is really. That is You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You, eh? I don't know how to explain you. You are. You are sweetly annoying. Tell me, sweetly. Want to qualify? Want to quantify? <laughs> I don't get story. The story oh. I want to. I got you on November 13th for London. I tell your people, make they come. Now my story no, be that. <laughs> lighthouse Campbell. Campbell. Yes, now lighthouse. Ah, uh, okay. No worry. Which kind of show? What thing they do? Where they take? Comment. <laughs> Comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> That is it. 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 support me. That is it. 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 But so, I don't message it for DM. Let me talk. Mm. But, but let me say this about you before I leave. You are highly cerebral and I have high level respect for you. Trust me. Don't be at me. You, you, you. you. <laughs> that is real. That is real. Come, make me go. Only show. Only a relation. Come back well. I go to the show. Come, that show. <laughs> Then, and thank you for for any time I have I have some things to put me through scripture. I go message you. Make I tell this one code public. I will say that the freeze. This thing I better me, me share light on it. Your theological knowledge, eh? God. That we go say I really know why, know why. This one is. Well, you're in jungle. <laughs> you're in jungle. Let me hear. Hey, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I too love you. Very correct guy. Ah, would you really? You're getting. You're getting. That is reason. Ah, hey, call call another person. Call another person before you talk. As I take the money, call another person. Oh no! If not the UK, we gonna go with Lee Show. We need a lovely guy. We need a really all of you in the UK. Meanwhile, those of you that are in Nigeria, go to my Facebook and go and buy star. What is wrong with you? Big shout out to Toby Loba, Uluwa Toby Loba, Adebo Ega, the seventh. You do finger like this, seventh. I be like, sha, sha, seventh. Uluwa Toby Loba, aka Pastor Toby, aka the seventh. Uh -huh. How are you doing? So, all of you in the UK, please make sure um, you support him. He's a great guy. His show, I can guarantee you, is going to be fun. It's going to be loaded. You will not regret going there. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Get story. I'm looking for a scary story now, like that day. Daddy Freeze, can I get you a crate of star? Comedy show, Camberwell Lighthouse. Let me pin it so you guys can see. Ole, ole. Right there. Come, if your scary story no be true, I go yank you come out I want real life stories. Enough of the so comedy show, Camberwell Lighthouse, November the thirteenth. Don't miss it. Samaria say I live alone. No worry. Hey, somebody just rushed by Mr. Now, 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 now. Where I don't talk to you. Coco Boy. Coco Boy. Coco Boy. By the way, Coco Boy has a brand new single. 
Also, big shout out to Emmy Ben. All right, Coco Boy has a brand new single. Um, you could check it out. You could check it out on my Instagram story. Ah, oh, Biajulu. Oh boy, don't talk Star Wars. Coco Boy, 1,200 stars. Oh, Biajulu, Quento. 1,000 stars. So, Biajulu is showing Coco Boy that. <laughs> But a man can do, a woman can do better. Um, before I go any further, you can actually find Coco Boy Music uh, Okay. Uh, Coco Boy Music, you can find, uh, follow him on Instagram. It's I'm checking my page to see. That's the song. Coco, K-O-K-O Boy Music. Coco Boy Music. Um, I think the song is called Mr. Enjoyment. Do check it out. Okay? Do check it out. Olu Michael's got a story to share, a true life story. All right. So let me bring Olu Michael. Share your story. Tell your story. Um, that's the segment we're having today. And quite a lot of stories. Beautiful story we started with. <laughs> When I see 500 people, they only Instagram, they enjoy story. Hey. So download Coco Boy's new single, Mr. Enjoyment. It's amazing. All right. On light, boss. <laughs> One minute, my brother. Uh -huh. I hope so your story goes to me too. It's not just scary. <laughs> it's what? I'm even scared to say it anyway. Say it. Why are you afraid to say your own story? Unless you won't lie, why not? People in your life, people in this life story know me. And uh, Oli or Oli will testify to the story anyway. Yeah. All right. If Oli will testify, that means it's a better story. I won't hear, won't hear, won't hear. <sighs> Okay, if, I don't know where to start from, but before I say anything, I want to apologize to everyone I've offended. Um, yes, I offended a lot of people. Yes, um, and because of my actions, a lot of, okay, not a lot of people, but some people's life were ruined. Um, oh. It's a long story, and maybe not today. Um, like I said earlier on, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry. I should have paid more attention. I own a company. Um, we do ticketing and we do visas. And in 2020, uh, when the COVID started, um, okay. In 2020, when the COVID started, uh, we could not deliver what we promised. And so a lot of people came, asked for their funds back. Um, we were able to do some, but we could not do um, what, we, what we should. Um, I, I run a company that does money back guarantee. If your visa is not issued, we refund you uh, money back. Oh. Um, but unfortunately in 2020, um, we could not, uh, uh, we could not do that for a lot of people. And I know a lot of people that are, that are suffering even presently because of our actions. Oh. Um, so if you're out there and you own a company and you're really not paying attention. You're always traveling everywhere. Uh, it's my fault. I'm not putting the blame on anyone. Um, as I speak, I'm not talking, it's not small money um, because with some are 1 million, some are 2 million, some are 3 million and it's a whole oh. lot of money. Mm. Um, I tried all I could. I paid um, over 80 million um, 
but we still have a whole lot more. Um, it got to a point I couldn't continue. I sold everything I had. Um, uh, I used to have an apartment. I sold everything, every single thing I had, my cars, um, everything. I tried paying the ones I could and the ones I could not. I had to leave the country. Um, as I speak, I'm not around. Um, and I can feel what my actions are. I know, not I can feel, I know what my actions is costing a lot of people back home. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing menial jobs here. Um, and I paid some people last two weeks. I still do the little I could, but I know it's not going to be all. I know, I know it's not enough. I wish I can do more, but presently I can't. Um, there are thousands of people that could, co that could uh, collaborate the stories from Woli Arule to AY Show to... Um, but what really happened? It's mismanagement. Um, people come to us, they want to do visas. Well, of course, I've been doing visas for over 19 years. Hmm. And I've got people around the world. Um, but in 2020, when COVID started, U.S. is not even, you can't get a date for U.S. visa. Um, we, for the Canadian visa for people we apply for, uh, Canada is not even replying their, their applications. We applied already. They have their login details. They could check, you know, you could check your own application yourself and you could do all that. But um, like the Bible said, I've, ah, Oh. They waited for a while. You know, if, if you apply for a visa and even after eight, nine months, nothing is coming forth, of course, you'll ask for your money back. Um, mm. We paid some, like I said earlier on, but of course, we could not pay all. Um, a lot of people will call, all, call me all different names. I accept whatever name you're calling me, it's fine. Uh, I know by his grace, somehow I'll pay it all, uh, somehow. Um, debt is one thing we all should be scared of. I didn't even know that it is up to that until it happened. When it happened and I started seeing how much we have to pay back. It, it got to a point when I paid up to 80 million naira. I felt like, wow. Like I said, it's my fault. Whatever names anyone is calling me out there, yes, I accept. Yes, it happened. I was wrong. And I apologize sincerely for everything I've done. Everything what? I've cost each and everybody out there, I apologize. What? Say it again. What country are you in now? In the UK. Wow. 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 I, I'm really, really sorry about this. Um, there's nothing like... It's not entirely your fault. Why don't you sit down with the people you're owing and try to work out... You can't... You, you see, COVID happened. You can't possibly pay. The problem was you are trying to pay everybody back 100%. You should have paid some people 60%, some people 50%. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. And that way, we, we, those are, it, there was an agreement. We have, mm -hmm. our company is the only company in the whole world that has a written agreement that if your visa is not issued, we will refund you. That was, so we were doing that, but got to a point we could not. There is, because we have applied for all these people we're talking about. They have their login details. They could check their applications. But even the, US, the UK, um, the Canadian embassy is not even replying them. Um, see, Daddy Freeze, you're right when you said I should sit down with them. But um, most of them say this to me. Ah, now you get Nemo. Uh, you know you're an actor because I do movies. I do Yoruba uh, movies. And they said, oh, we just, they actually did. Uh, they went to uh, a particular blog I don't want to mention. Uh, the blog wrote a whole lot of things about me. 
um, not just that blog, there are different blogs. If you go online, you see different things. And uh, mm. it, it actually broke me. Um, it, and I understand them because some of them actually paid, gave their last money. Some of them sold some of their properties to want to leave Nigeria. Mm. Um, so those are the ones I was even trying to see how I can do, pay part or pay all of their money. For others mm. that are still comfortable, I... Mm. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, if you're on it's this okay. list, or if your brother or your sister is part of the people I owe, I promise I will pay everyone back. Um, mm. I, Some, I, a lot of people are sitting on the AC in the background. They say you get UK and you get AC. Yeah, of course. They are, it's, it's hot. Ask Aroli. <laughs> Aroli is here with me. I really knows where I am. Mm, mm, yeah. mm. Okay, bro. Um, God has forgiven you for confessing. We have forgiven you. Let's hope your debtors to forgive you. Uh, the, the, okay. the, uh, the prayer, the only prayer I could um, actually pray for is me to get the funds to pay them back because some of them are really going through a lot. Mm. A whole lot. Are you owing now? That it frees you. You don't want me to say that. Just say, just say, let's understand. How much are you owing? It's over 400000 $400,000? Yes, it is. Mm. Hey, $400,000 is about $280 million naira. Yes, it is. Over 280 million. Hey. Yes. But how you self take chop this guy money? Uh, okay. Um let's 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 go back a little. Say you have a company you've been running for a while, and let's some let's say ten people give you one millionaire. Yeah. Okay. Um, from the one million they give you, you pay their visa fee, you do documentation, you do this, you do that. Of course, it's not going to be 10 million naira by the time all of them come back to ask for their phones back. Mm. I am actually one of the most expensive visa agents in Nigeria, and I always deliver, not until 2020. So... Um, mm. I had lots and lots of clients. But what I've done is you should have lot. had clients and said, look, even though I promised this, COVID happened. So instead of instead of uh, me paying you ten million, I'm going to pay you seven million. We paid we paid we paid a lot of money. We paid a lot of people, um, most of theirs. Um, but the others that we could not pay. Some of them, I'm even. There is one particular person in Ibadan. The family gave everything. Um, there are two of them, so I paid one last month. So I'm just hoping that this month I will be able to pay this one, this particular one in Ibadan. I know for sure that this person is going through hell. I know. Um, I'll do my best. Hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, brother. God bless you. Thank you for sharing your story. And I do hope you can make things right. I want to do business no easy. Hey. Hmm. To do business no easy. I'm still looking for a scary story. I'm about to round off. So far, huh, we're doing Star Wars today. Yeah. Don't worry, tomorrow Star Wars go day hot inside Clash of the Supporters. But right now, Coco Boy Music is leading with 3,200 stars, followed closely by the beautiful Obiajulu Quentin, or Quento, Obiajulu Quento, 2,500 stars. Eh? 
Obiajulu. No grief for Coco Boy. No grief for Coco Boy. Coco Boy. 3,200 stars. You don't, you don't say it. All right. So one more story. This time, I hope this story is scary. Scary story. If your story is not scary, I'll cut you off. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Just don't send me a request because I can't seem to access my requests. I can't seem. So just type. I'll call you from the, from the comment section. So just type your comments. Hey, Cuckoo Boy say no good grill. Anybody will drag with him today. Almost Star Wars. Make it no good to waste. Make it no good to waste. Uh -huh. I want to view requests. It's not opening the request. So just, just type here. Yes, Juju Levels. Priye, if you have a Juju story, all well and good. I'm ready to hear it. I get family background story. Scary. All right. Don't forget our release comedy show, November the 13th, Camberwell Lighthouse. Inspiring single moms. Hello, Dad. Please. Bros, how far? Don't. Okay. Uh -huh. It's all right. We've got two stories. Ah. Cocoa Boy music, don't raise the stake to 5,200 stars. All right, let me hear you. Oh, yeah, the guy first. Guy goes first. Let me hear your story. Uh, I just want to share my own uh, family background story. Can you, can you hear me, Kelly? We can hear you clearly. So uh, go yes. ahead. Background story. So uh, I came from a family of... Uh, my mother, my mother had two husbands. My father have like uh, four wives, hmm. and my stepdad have like three wives. Is it three or four? I think it's three. Yeah. So between my mom and my dad, I'm the only son between them, the only child between hmm. them. So, uh, though my father was once married before my mother. The woman was, uh, I don't want to use abusive word, more like she was unable to conceive. Let me just say it like that, so that I won't say the sad personal word. So okay. due to some medical issues, she was unable okay. to conceive. So that is why he now married another woman, which is my mom. Oh. So during my growth, uh, you know, traditional house, uh, all those... Uh, uh, extended family, they get their own issue. Once, uh, as long as there is no just, uh, there are more wives inside a family, you are going to get issue. So, the woman get jealous be because my mom come into the house and give birth, but she was there and unable to give birth. You know that kind of, uh, mm. that kind of jealousy. Yeah. So, uh, based on what I heard. They say they try a lot of things so that they can they can terminate her and also terminate me. They even say sometimes, although I don't believe some of their stories, I believe some of those, but I think they also exaggerate some so that I can just be seeing them as bad people or something like that. Mm. So my father is a pastor and my mom is a proprietress, like uh, you know this thing. My father is a pastor and he has two wives. <laughs> See, and pastors. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I grew up on Terrible and Grass uh, Church, CNS uh, Pastor. So, uh. in CNS Church, that is not uh, like an abomination. It is Pentecostal Church that see having more than one wife as an abomination or something uh. like that. Uh. Uh -huh. So, during my, uh, when I was doing it, so I, I studied computer science at Federal Pink Technical So, 2017. Uh. During that time, I was unable to pay my school fees then. So, although my father paid part of it, but my mother used that money. So, 
uh, our streets are about to expire. So it's hard to sell our land. The only property we have then. So it's hard to sell our land to pay my school fees then. That was the only reason why I didn't drop out. I would have dropped out then due to the level of poverty they have then. So the second semester, I already get friends because I study programming. I, I know how to develop software, websites, applications. So mm. within that period of time, I've had friends in uh, other countries. I have friends for New York. I have friends at Switzerland, which are, who are also programmers. So we talk together. So some of them are the ones that sponsored me till I finished my school. So my parents did not even sponsor me again till I finished that school. Mm. So, and after I graduated from uh, the Polytechnic cover, I started working in Elorin with a software company. They were paying us uh, about 10,000 euros per month mm. as internship. So, after first year, they now change our salary to 50,000 euros. If you can remember, there was a live video you were making one day. And then I commented, uh, you said that if you are any less than 50,000, I mean, is it 100,000 that you call it, that you are poor? And mm. I, I commented that day that I was earning 50,000. I don't know if you can remember. I think I can day. remember. Yeah, I was the one who commented that that time. I think it's last year or per year. I don't remember where. Mm -hmm. I think it's last year or per year. So I was the one that commented during that time. So I just go through all those things. So during those times, there are a lot of responsibility on my head. I have to take care of my stepsister. I have to take care of my father. I have to take care of my mother. So that 50 mm. thousand was not enough for me at all. If I send money home to my sister, to everybody, the less the remaining money for my own, no go reach like 10,000 euro for me to manage for myself. So mm. during that time, my, my mom had skin cancer. She had skin cancer. So she needs some money for our hospital bill during those times. So I was unable to provide. And I'm like the only the only person that can provide something, a little thing for them to survive from. So for I was unable to provide, but I'm still trying to provide whatever I can provide during those times. So but she died anyway after all those struggles, trying to get hospital bill, everything. She, and she was very religious. She believed in pastors too much. So they were telling her, like, she don't need to go up to hospital bed. They would do, like, uh, pay her water for her. She would drink calm. I know it's all, all those things like that. Mm. that she will use it and she will get okay. So she believed in all those spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, treatment, more than medical treatment. Mm. That, that is even one of the main problems. So whenever I send money to her, like, okay, use this for medical treatment. So it will be like, uh, my pastor, uh, 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 once we do this thing, everything will be all right. Like, yeah, we don't need to be wasting money for doctor or something like that. So that is part of mentality that, that uh, actually part of why she later died anyway. But I can't believe her uh, and I can't, it's just the way, the mentality of what we grew up with. So, and I, I'm also trying not to go to that route so that I can believe that, okay, whenever you are sick, it's not just about spiritual. We have to try medical treatment first. If every, every attempt on our medical treatment does not work, that is when we cannot go back to uh, anything spiritual. It's not I spiritual first. Firstly, we need to firstly take care of the medical treatment. So she she died anyway during that time. So uh, the my my step sister also came back uh, because she went to uh, I think it's Oman, those Arab countries. I think they call it Oman. Yeah. So she went there to do like house girl work during that time before my mom died anyway. So she also used to send money home during all the time that she spent there. Most of our most of our salary. Let's say maybe like 60% of our salary is what she sent home for the treatment. So starting from like three months after she went till, till the last days left, I, our mom was still on sick bed during that time. And she keeps sending money home every every month during that time. So, and when she come back, uh, the month that she is going to come back, that was the month that our mom did, died during that time. 
So after they come back home, she take uh, all our uh, all our uh, uh, biological syndrome. You know, they are step sister to me. They are not like biological. So she took our own biological sister brothers with her. She took them to Lagos. Uh, one side at Lagos, I remember the town anyway. So within one month or three months, what is this six months? I think it's after three months. Yeah. So she had an accident on the road in Lagos. Ganapaja, yeah, I remember. So mm-hmm. she said, uh, they told me that as she was going on the road, a bike man was coming from the back and hit her. Mm-hmm. And that bike man hit her toward the trailer. And then she also died. Like Your six sister- months in Tava, yeah. Mm-hmm. Six months in Tava to each other. Between the time that my mom died and she... Between six months and that, she also died during that time. And she was the one that is taking care of all the kids and uh, uh, sisters, all of them. Right? So our own responsibility to also become my own responsibility because I'm like the elder brother to them too. Even though they are not like biological to me, they are also my step brother, my step siblings. So they also become responsibility. So I try to take one, one lady, which is uh, like 17 years old now. So I took her uh, to my side, and the last one, I took him to his father, so that his father can look to, uh, towards him. So many things, just, but now, I can't go here. So I later resigned from the company I worked for, which they were paying me to take on then. So I later resigned, then I started working freelancing online. So I work for uh, supply and tech at New York, USA now, and I also work for... Uh, Go driver at New York. So now I'm trying. Um, right now, uh, glory to God. Um, I'm not rich, but I'm okay more than before. So I can take care of myself, take care of my siblings, and also even my father and my stepdad too, because he doesn't really have much. So with what I'm earning now, glory to God, I'm able to take care of my siblings and also take care of myself. So the the key point I can your stepfather and your siblings. Yes. You're a good person. So, the key point I just want everyone to to understand today is many people are trying in Nigeria. Mm. Many people are trying to make it in Nigeria, but I think the the main factor why some people don't really make it as as much as we think they should have make it is family. Mm. Somebody that, that is any... Let's assume that you went 100,000 in a month and you spent like 70,000 on family. Mm-hmm. So the remaining 30% that is remaining for you won't really take you far. So mm-hmm. when, pe- when you are seeing people struggling, that doesn't mean they don't, they don't try their best to make it their living. Everyone is trying their own best to make their living, but their own responsibility, which is beyond their, their current situation, is what is dragging them back. And mm-hmm. also, uh, I also used to listen to some of your message like people who to go away from religious mentality but i understand your own point of view and i also understand why these people are not doing it. although me i'm free now because i've studied a lot i study very well so and i build some fat because a software developer does not work based on emotion we work on we work on what it is and how it is so as long as it is not how it is you are not going to believe in it so whenever mm. that is really stuck and I, I, and I study it too, and I say like, okay, this thing is real, I'm going to believe it. But if I study it and say like, this thing is not real, I'm going to discard it. So that is just how I work with my own life. So uh, those people that I used to talk about, they are very religious. I think the reason why some of them are not the is they have something they are gaining from that church. Maybe some people, their own CEO of their own company is from the church. And if they leave that church, is going to affect their own lifestyle. Or mm. somebody is giving them contracts inside that church that if they leave, mm. it's going to affect their own lifestyle. So that yeah. is why some of them are still in that religious mentality. So I just want to give that up. Thank you very much for giving me the chance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. God bless you, bro. Very sad story, but it shows that he is a great guy with a heart filled with love. We have one final story. But I need to go to my Star Wars. Oh, my goodness. 
Obia Julu, Obia Julu has overtaken Coco Boy music. Obia Julu, Quento. 6,000 stars as against 5,200 stars by Coco Boy music. Hey! Eh? Eh? No, 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 no. Coco Boy. Tag Coco Boy, guys. Where is Coco Boy? Where is Coco Boy? All right, finally, you are our final story, and your story has to be scary. So shoot. <laughs> good, evening. good evening, Daddy Priest. <laughs> good evening, my sister. How are you doing? I'm very well, sir. Thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. I was just, I just had the opportunity to jump online this evening. I just saw you online and I saw a story. I said, okay, let's share something. Okay, so uh, it's a very brief story, actually, because I have lots of story. Uh, I grew up, you know, in um, domestic violence, and um, that's why most of my stories and my book and my videos are on, you know, are family, family based. Mm -hmm. Now, um, there's this particular one. So at, at one point, we had to leave. And then my mom has to like take us to where she could afford to live in the 80s. So we were growing up and then one day we have to live in, you know, face me, I slap you house. And then one day I went to bed. My mom was also there. And then in that, you know, in that dream, I saw a woman that lives in that very house. And then the woman had a black cloth. And then there are cowries on the cloth. And then the woman said, the woman used the cloth to eat me. And then the woman said, I have taken, I have taken your brain for my child. She mentioned the name of that child. She said, I've taken your brain for my child. And I woke up immediately. And I was crying. I was screaming. And I told my mom the dream. My mom said, go and use, um, go and use prayer water to, you know, just to bath and then use it to wash your head. And I was like, are you really saying that's the only thing I could do. Mm. And behold, I stepped out of the, of the house to go and do what my mom said, that I should use the prayer water to wash my head. I stepped out of the house and I met the woman by the door. The very woman that I saw in my dream. And she looked at me and she stares and she went back. And that was it. It was you know, it was this, it became this, I mean, my mom didn't take it serious, but I told my sister, my sister said, well, let's take you out to pray. Then someone prayed for me. And after that time, I was doing so well academically. And that was the hint of doing well academically. And I began to struggle. And I began to struggle. I almost like could not finish my secondary school. I've told this story before. It makes people laugh. When I finished my WAHEC, I struggled to the SS3. When I finished my WAHEC, I had seven F9 and two passes. And my mom could not just link this to any other thing. She just does not understand. But at some point, uh, year 2000, December 2000, I gave my life to Christ and it turned everything around. I have, this is my second master's I'm doing. I've written books. I've been to places. I've traveled around and God has been faithful. So I just know that when God steps in, no matter how scary the situation is, he turns things around. And see, I, the last time I saw the woman when I was in Nigeria, she was still selling something by the roadside. Hmm. And she was wearing dirty clothes. And I don't know. So God is faithful. Let's just, let's just hold on to him.
is if ever faithful no matter what the devil do god is faithful thank you so much daddy phrase you are welcome you are welcome hmm. thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> everyone sharing stories i'm looking for scary stories maybe we could just have one more scary story uh don't forget Wuli Arole show uh 13th of november camberwell lighthouse in the uk you could be there and you can make it happen right now coco boy music is dominating the star wars with 7600 stars he jumped out of nowhere and he overtook obiajulu quenta uh, obiajulu was doing so well earlier on but coco boy music has taken over obiajulu no grief for this boy you. no grief for this boy you. now kendo i hope your story is sweet if it is not sweet i will yank you Hello, sir. This one and your network no good. Please, please, please. Who gets sweet story, Jare? Who gets sweet story? And who gets night light? Well, Lea Rolle is a good guy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Kel. Kel says he has a story. Or Kerry. Okay. I'm not rude. Daddy Freeze. Yes. Let's hear your story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it better be good. One minute, if it's not good, I yank you. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, so my story is for education purpose. Uh, back then in uh, 2007, after my work, I told myself that I want to be, I was very ambitious to be a politician. I said I want to be the youngest politician in Nigeria. So because of that ambitiousness in me, I joined the People Democratic Party. And I was very small. I want to hear scary story, ghosts, all those kind of things. Not a oh. uh, <laughs> be no. uh, please, 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 scary story, scary story. Scary story. If your story is not scary, not just bother. <sighs> Can they tell me Atiku and Pito will be? Polly, what? Uh huh. Please, 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 please. By the way, Coco Boy music is dominating the Star Wars. Oh, Good yeah. evening, Daddy Freeze. Hello. Hi. All right, let's hear your story. Let's see your first. <laughs> Let's hear your story. Can you me? Yes. Yeah. So I want to talk about a story my mom told me about her sister. It had mm. to do with, um, you know, what Yorubas call, uh, call Akudaya. Hey, this is scary. <laughs> yeah, I know. So she said there was a day um, someone came over to see her mom. And the person told her mom that he came to ask for forgiveness for her daughter that he has been married to her for five years now. And anytime he tries to talk to her about coming back home to see the parent to ask for forgiveness, that she's always saying, my grandmother is so mad at her that she won't forgive her and all that. And my grandmother was already married to someone else. So while, you know, my grandmother called her husband and told him that this person is claiming is married to so so so, and um, how come? Because she's been dead for a while, but they didn't tell the man mm. that she's been dead. So 
my grandmother was like, okay, you know what? Go and tell her, you know, to come home, that she has been forgiven, that she should come home. And my grandmother's husband is all this Islamic marriage, ah. Imam Afa. Mm. <laughs> so he told my grandma and told her that, you know what? There's no point telling this man that you really want to see this girl. Let me say it in your right. He said, oh, mama, she kirini. You know, all these Akudaya people. Instead of kuma, she kirini, kuku file. Because according to this man, she already has about two or three kids for him. And they're doing fine already. So if you tell this man that the person is married to, he's actually been dead for a while. Now, it's going to be a problem because either she takes those children she had for him away or, you know, they will fall sick and also just die. Just let it be. And my mom said, I now told my mom that, okay, what happened? What did you people do? She said, my mom had to send the man away and told him that, you know what? Don't come back here. We don't want to see you anymore. According to what her husband asked her to do. And that's he's been hunting her for a while because she really wished she actually met the children her sister that passed away had for because the man came with pictures of him and her with kids someone that is dead already mm. and now yeah, a lot so of this what is akudaya akudaya is when recantation reincarn somebody reincarnates and goes to live somewhere else at life we have I've seen this with my own eyes when I was wow. young. A woman and her two children on NTA News or BCOS News those days. She came home with her Kudaya husband. She did the same. They always worry. I want to know your people. 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 So one day the guy said, Okay, no problem. We'll go and see my people. So when they got to the area, he just pointed his house there. He said, See that house there? That house. Now, I just want to quickly greet somebody here. We meet you at the house. Hmm. And they got there. They said, ah, we are this person's wife. Oh, they now took him to the back of the house and showed them his grave. That said, this guy died 15 years ago. How can you be his wife? Wow. Yeah, I think disappeared with that too. Yes. Um, <laughs> when my mom told me, she said she didn't believe it until it happened to her because it's her sister. So I'm also just using this opportunity to tell people that is real, according to what my mom said. That reincarnation mm. is real, and people should believe it. It happens, especially for those people that die untimely. They tend to, you know, Yorubas that they will say, oh, koti to asi kwe, to ti ku. so you know, they just go elsewhere and start a family for themselves. That's mm. my little scary story. <laughs> Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a good story. I enjoyed Thank it. You. Doing this, we're going to be having these sessions more often. Um, we have, we've had an Akudaya story. We've had all sorts of inspiring story, stories. Uh, let us, there's some guy who said he has a story. Um, and we end with him. All right, that's as far as we can go, guys. Don't forget Woli Arule Show, uh, Camberwell Lighthouse, November the 13th. Make sure you're there if you're in the UK. Coco Boy Music currently dominating my Star Wars. Big shout out to him. Followed by Obiadulu Quenta. Thank you so much. Emmy Ben and Patricia Ashu also sent me a few stars. All right. That one, they happen normally, especially on Timely Death. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Obia Julu don't overtake Coco Boy. Hey, hey, Coco Boy, they don't overtake you. Coco Boy. Oh, they don't overtake you. Obia Julu. Obia Julu. Sweet baby. Sweet baby. You have overtaken Coco Boy. You have overtaken Coco Boy. All right, I'm going to end with Femi Adirogba. Coco Boy, no grief for how. No grief for how. All right, and we're ending in five minutes. So let's hear. Uh, Femi Adirogba story. Somebody saying don't buy it before. All right. Hmm. 
Who is Arule? Arule is a very famous Nigerian comedian. You should know him. Um, I've sent them requests though. They are making them outside the comment section. They don't go green now. Someone said no such thing as ghosts. Ask Remy. Remy that is here will tell you a full experience. <laughs> All right. Anybody had Akudaya? Omo, baby. Quentin, don't overtake Kuku Boy, you 11,000 stars. Obiajunu Quentin. Obiajunu. 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 Someone say, I could hear they live, they listen. Oh, Femi Adirog, but I sent you go live again. Hey, Obiadulu, 11,000 stars. Coco Boy Music, 7,600 stars. What do they call those kids that always. Um, those Hello, good, mo good morning, Daddy Freeze. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you doing, sir? Um, well, you could... I, don't, I just don't know how to share my story. I don't know how it's going to um, look nice. But the summary is just like a narrow escape. A um, few years ago, I wanted to travel. So while I was waiting for a bus um, during that time, I had two people. They came to me. They said they are going somewhere that I should lead them to that place. So initially, I tried to uh, move back and ignore them. But I was just like, let me just describe that place for them so that um, they could go there and I have my own way. But unfortunately, while I was trying to explain to them, they, they did as if they don't even know where they are going. I was like, oh, don't worry. Um, I will just try to assist you to the junction. So when you get to the junction, you find your direction to where you are going. Unfortunately, I, didn't, I don't even know we are going to an herbalist. I was sincerely... I was no. I don't even know their ritual is like they had some kind of evil intention. They told me they are going to an hospital that they wanted to assist someone so that he or she can get well and better. So because of that, I I was so like how can I put it? I was just trying to uh, be emotional with them that oh it will not be nice if these people they miss their way to where they are going. So. To cause the long story short, after a few minutes, we just landed at the Abalist house. When we got to the entrance, I was like, ah, they said we are going to the hospital. Where are we? We are in, around the, uh, what is it called? Like a village. I, I thought we were going to an hospital. How do we just um, got here? Instead of me to reverse and even change direction. On, I said, oh, God, I, I am not even going again. I just like, ah, let me just follow them. I don't know. But sincerely speaking, sincerely speaking, when we entered that house, I saw a lot of things. I saw scores. I saw people that are sick. I saw a lot of things. Leave anything you can just name and identify an analyst. I saw it there. I was like, ah, I thought we were going to an hospital. How did I get here? Honestly, I don't know how to escape. From that then, initially, they were telling me maybe we are going to add, uh, what is it called, this kind of um, agreement. I said, wow, what kind of agreement? I, I just brought you here, but I, I cannot just argue with them at that moment because the abalist is in front of us, the two people, they are there, not knowing that they were looking for someone they were used to make money. I was just unfortunate to be, <laughs> to be their, their victim. On that part. Serious, I'm, although I'm not lying, I'm serious. To God who made me. I'm serious. It happened to me. Seriously. So when I got there, the man started making a lot of, you know, he was trying to consult maybe the um, oracle or whatsoever. But inside me, that phrase, I was praying, like, what kind of mistake have I made in my life? Why will I be so stupid enough to follow people to where, the people I don't know, why will I be so stupid enough to follow them to that place? I was just, I was just, I just keep praying inside my heart. The man, the abalis said, hey, I should touch one thing. That when I touch that thing, uh, they will, they are, you know, they are just using that logic, just to take me. But inside of me, I said, sir, I said I cannot just uh, do this thing. I don't have belief in it. But I said it technically. 
so that they would not because nobody knew where I was going. Even my friends then that uh, she was calling me, the number was not going through. So nobody even knew where I was at that moment. So at the end of the day, something just came up. They asked me a question. I couldn't give them the right answer. So the man said, um, they said uh, that was that day I knew that so actually in the market there are witches and wizards. They said they sent something to the market. That that thing they sent to the market, they sent it on errand. That the only thing I will get lucky is that if that thing doesn't come back automatically, I am free to go. But if it come back, <laughs> it will not be funny. So one way or the other, we waited for five minutes, nothing happened. I just tried to excuse myself and I leave. But the man said, I should not tell anybody that, like, like uh, if I tell somebody, I will run mad. I was like, eh? Run mad? He even said, I should not look back. <laughs> Talk less of describing that place for anybody. And that was just how God saved me from that incident. If not, I don't know where I will be today. Wow. 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 Now God save you. Make sure they careful. Make sure know they talk to stranger. That's it. That's it, sir. Make sure know talk to stranger. Hey, hey, Omo, Omo. Right now, huh? Star Wars is a tie between Coco Boy Music and Obia Julu Quenta. Obia Julu is on eleven thousand. Coco Boy is on eleven thousand eight hundred. After this last call, I'm going to have to declare a winner. Is it going to be Coco Boy, who's currently leading? Or is it going to be Obiaju Luquenta, who is going to show Coco Boy? Eh? Stranger danger. All right. I just sent someone a request said, call me. Olayemi Aluku. So I've sent her a request. Olayemi. Um, accept. All right. Coco Boy Music, 11,800 stars. Or Biagi Luquenta, 11,000 stars. Someone says Stranger Things. I swear down. Now, our own version of Stranger Things with this. Hello? Hello, good morning. Is this Okoyemi? No, T Flex. No, this, this is T Tex calling from China. All right, T Tex, let's hear your story. Let's see your face and let's hear your story. <laughs> Good morning. I'm in my kids' room. <laughs> can you hear me? We can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Okay. Um, actually, I grew up with um, some, my, some of my family members. But um, I just want to tell you one of my scary stories. And it's mm. it's real, like seriously, it's real. Um, I was we were we were living, we were living with our auntie, but one day I had a very scary dream that uh, she was trying to put something in my mouth in that dream, so the thing has to hang in my throat. You understand? Mm. So I called my sister in Lagos that see oh, this is the dream I had. I and she attended uh, White Garment Church. Actually, I don't really believe in those things, but this mm -hmm. time around, the, the dream was so scary, honestly. Mm -hmm. So she asked me to come to Lagos. So when we get to Lagos, she have to take me to the church. And the church told me that um, I will have three days fasting and prayer, white fasting and prayer. So I started the prayer the first day, the second day, the third day. So those three days, I couldn't see any sign but when we got back home she now said so the, the the first day when i got home in the night and um i had a dream i saw this my auntie that we are living with in that dream and i saw her in in the, in the bush in a very thick bush mm. and i saw i saw like a pot in her in her hands and then um, and I but what what happened is that suddenly I started beating her. I was beating her in that dream masterlessly. I was beating her. And I told her that I must collect my glory from you today. I was beating her. Fortunately, she now gave me. Do you know do you know the funnest part? When I wake up the following day, 
my mom called us that my auntie said that I should not return to her house. Hmm. That she was feeling body pain. My sister can testify to this story. That I should not return to her house. And my, my mom now told that the way they are treating her is that they will pour water on the roof. She will now bend her back and the water will be pouring on her back. That is the treatment they told her to be taking. Mm. You know that ever, ever since then, we have not been in good relationship till date, as I'm talking to you. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, Lovely story. It's, it's, it's one of those experiences Lovely I had story. when I was growing up. Lovely story. Thank you so much, my darling sister, T-Tex. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. All right. We have our final person here. And I'm okay. about to announce. When it looks like it's Obiajulu Quenta. Obiajulu is on 13,500 stars. While Coco Boy Music is on 11,800 stars. So in the, after this call, we announce the final story. Thank I'm sorry, the final winner for Star Wars. Big shout out to both Obiajulu Quenta and uh, Coco Boy Music, who's at number two right now. So, can we see your face? Oh, Jesus. sorry, because I'm at work and my residence is... Um, she doesn't like the light on, so that's the problem. But I just want to say a quick story that happens to me. Wait. Off in light. Oh, okay. Sorry? What work are you doing that light is off? I'm yeah, off. because I've got, a, I've got a patient. She doesn't like lights on. Oh, oh yeah. you're not... Oh, all yes. right, all right. Go ahead, let's hear you. Just a story. quick one. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm calling from the UK anyway, but this happened to me way back when I was back home in Nigeria. And yeah, on my way to go see a friend um, somewhere around Ojo, then I was in school in Lasso, and I was just, just around the corner anyway. So I got to this bus stop. Um, it's called somewhere, it's called K2, around Ojo area. So I got to K2. And when I just came, I was waiting for a bike at the bus stop. And then this pigeon, I think Fizzy 504, or I'm not really sure, but around these old cars, just came out and like, um, just stopped. And then two men standing close to me at the bus stop as well. They were just like, they, okay, they were talking, they were saying, oh, okay. Um, they were saying, ah, um, you, good evening, man of God. Oh, I know you. I used to watch your program. I used to see you on TV. I used to do this. I used to do that. Like, oh, ah, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Um, I, I've been watching your program. I see the miracles you perform. I see everything you do. And then this man was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Glad you're watching it. And, you know, and then he saw me. And I'm, me, I was not carried away, like, watching these people, you know, like, ah. Look at this man of God. Ah, me, I'm not thinking like, wait, do I, have I actually seen this man of God or somewhere or something? And then the man came to me. I was like, oh, you, this girl. Oh, you're from a wicked family. Oh, yes, your father killed your, your, father, your uncle killed your father. And truly, truly, my, one of my uncles killed my father. Like, you know, this land issue. Yes, back home. I just don't want to talk about it. Like, because I know some of them are watching, some of the children are watching me. So, you know, like that. So I was like, ah, I was shocked. I'm like, ah. I, could this be true? Could this be true? Like, what, the, what is this man saying? Yes, you have a family problem. Your father, you were dragging, they were dragging lands and this and that. And, you know, me being like, ah, look at these people. Why do they know my story? That means this man is truly a man of God and he sees a vision. I almost carried away. And then he said, okay, you know what? I'm going to take you to a place. But you have to come with me. Here is my car. Come inside. Let's go. I need to pray for you. I need to do this. I need to do that. And then I entered this vehicle at the back seat. And then the other man that was greeting him too entered. You guys might say, think it's 419, but my sister, this is real. It's not about 419 because when you get into that situation, you know that if you're coming from a family where you have issues, you won't joke with this kind of thing, you know? So I got, I got carried away. I was like, oh, 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 yeah, that this thing could be true you know, because things were so rough. Like I was going through a lot. We we're going through a lot. My family was going through a lot at that moment. But... 
I said, okay, maybe this man might have solution to our problem. So, you know, and then so I entered the car. And then I was now like, ah, what my nurse said, where are these people taking you to give to them? Like, just think about yourself. Think about where you're coming from. And then the voice just said, come down from this car. And then as they were about to move, I said, please, 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 please. Just stop. I want to come down. I've got something to do. Please, please, please. As soon as I said, okay, okay, that's fine. If you don't want to come with us, you can. You, said, you know, the way they said, try to convince me. Like, if you don't want to go with us, that's fine. I said, okay, okay, just, just drop me, drop me, drop me. And then, ah, I just, as soon as I came down, behold, it's not even up to 20 seconds. I couldn't see that car again. It's, it's on the express road. When you're going, you will see, at least you still see traces of this car driving. I don't even know if that car disappeared. Like, I could not see traces of this car in just two seconds. And I'm like, what have, I just fell down. I'm like, what, have, what, would I have, what would I have said to my family? What would I have done at this moment? Like, Jesus Christ, is it that this car disappeared? There was no turning. It was an express road. At least if it's driving, you still see traces of the car driving. Good. I could not see nothing. I could hardly see nothing. There was nothing I could see. I just like, oh my God. That like, could this thing be through? So ever since then, anybody telling me miracle this, miracle that, oh, they, ah, no, I run far, 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 far away. Like, so, yeah, it's just a short one, boy. <laughs> it's a short one, boy. It really happened. Because they but, came to me like, they used the situation I was going through around my family at that time, things I've been through to like, just come to me straight up. You know, somebody killed your father and this, your father, that brother, and straight up, and that was it. You know, mm. and I believe, like, oh, this is, this is real, you know. So uh, that's, that's, all, that's how it happened, really. It's so much. <laughs> Some people may just think it's um, one chance for one night, but I, that car disappeared. Before God, that, it just disappeared. I don't even, it vanished. I don't know, even know when it, where it entered. There was no, because it's an express road, there was no turning. You know how express road are? It's, it's, uh, yeah, it just vanished. I don't, I, it vanished. Like it vanished. I did not see traces of that car. Like As it, no how did it vanish? I don't even know. I can't even tell you. Again? I I do not see if car is going, you could even see the car going like on mm. the road, you know, driving. I could not see this car. There was no turning. It was just an express road, no turning, nothing. So how did it go? I just in fact I don't know. But people may just think it's uh, these things happen. If you don't experience it, you might just you you don't, you don't know. Uh, come back, <laughs> uh, you speak uh, your yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, all right, take good yeah, care. Of you. Thank you, all right? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Bye. As in, when you got out of the car, what now happened? I came down for me to come down. I said I did not see this guy again. If I came down, look around, I could not find this car anymore. As in, you I came just came down. down. I and came down, just came down, closed the door. Mm, I did not see the car again, just like that. And he didn't drive? I did not see the car. I just sat down on the bus stop there because, like, what, what would I have done to myself? Because of the, the whole thing was, I did not see this car anymore. Since I've been, I've been like a, a tough girl, like, oh, I'm on the street, I'm a street girl, nothing they happen, you know, this kind of thing, and no, nothing shakes me. That one off me because I have never seen such a thing in my entire life. Wow. You know, people may call it hypnotized. You may call it whatever you think, but if it doesn't happen to you, you will not understand. You won't know. I mean, it not happen. That will be Thank you they will so much. They will use Thank your life to to tell you to to you Thank understand. You. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Wow. Yeah. wow! 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 That was cheesy, <laughs> right? There. I'm about to announce my um, Star Wars winner, Obia Julu. Quentin says, thank you so much and keep up the good work. 14,500 stars. Number one with Coco Boy Music, 11,800 stars. Number two, Coco Boy Music, they don't chance you today. Uh, Obiajulu Quentin, 14,500 stars. Unless Coco Boy Music can do something in the next two minutes, um, I'm going to declare the winner. So, I can see that you guys really enjoy this um, particular show, Tell Your Story. So people are going to come tell. We'll, we'll have inspiring stories. We'll have sad stories. We'll have scary stories. So we'll try to have one inspiring, one sad, one funny, and one scary story. Okay? So um, it's been so amazing. Thank you guys so much, all of you who've been listening uh, my beautiful sister, Remy, thank you so much for being here. 
I uh, hope you're doing well. I was supposed to call you and I will tomorrow. Um, look forward to having more fun with you guys. Uh, Peter Bujili, thank you so much. Uh, Lady Nantoma. Hmm. Lady Nantoma is up to something amazing. I will be announcing it tomorrow during Clash of the Supporters. Don't miss Clash of the Supporters. Clash of the Supporters is where um, we get to discuss politics and um, argue between the bike riding uh, Ashiwaju, the dancing um, articulated, and of course, Peter will be We'll be talking all about them tomorrow. Uh, everybody's going to be there, and we're going to try to have as much fun as possible. Thank you, Femi Adirogba. Thank you, everyone. It was so much fun. Take care, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you're watching me from. Take care, and God bless. And my winner for today is, ladies and gentlemen, it is a woman. And by no stroke of luck, because this is quite a wide margin, she dominated today, Obiadulu Quenta, with 14,500 stars. Thank you so much. Coco Boy Music came second. Thank you guys so much. Take care and God bless. See you tomorrow, Clash of the Supporters. I'm going to be preaching during the day, so make sure you join um, and take care. Uh -uh. Lady Nantoma said I'm the star winner. No, it's not you. I mean, my eyes spinning me. Eh? I can see Joseph Nantoma. Joseph Nantoma bought 150 stars. Ah, he has not won. No. I've been making extend Star Wars for another three minutes. Oh, we had to win. You didn't see my star. I only saw Joseph's own. No, Joseph Nantoma, 150 stars. Lady Nantoma, did you send stars? I've not seen any stars. Though. Let me refresh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Joseph Nantoma sent 2,500 stars. Look, okay, Joseph Nantoma, don't enter this race. Hey, hey. Joseph Nantoma is on, oh, 5,000 stars. That was quick. Joseph Nantoma, 7,000 stars. Hey, oh, be you lose, and you don't win, no. Eh? This Nantoma family wants to enter your matter like this. <laughs> they are Chelsea. They win the Champions League every year. Eh? Already, Joseph Nantoma has done half. Oh, my goodness. What more could we witness? This star was how then they play. I'm just calm. Lady Nantoma say refresh. Lady Nantoma say refresh. Just come to Facebook. Just come to Facebook. Ah. <sighs> But things they happen, no. Just come to Facebook if you want to enjoy Star Wars. Black mentor. Somebody say black mentor. Give it to Biajulu. <laughs> black mentor. Biajulu don't respond to. Eh? I mean, a black mentor don't respond again. Oh boy, black mentor don't reach twelve thousand six hundred and fifty stars. He has caught up with Biajulu. Hey, where is my Coco boy? Coco boy. Someone said, take another story. Take another story. I'm tired. We'll do story. We'll take another story um, next time we come live. Big shout out to Black Mentor and his beautiful wife. Okay, while I'm waiting for this, uh -huh, let me announce Black Mentor's wife's show while we're waiting for Star Wars to end. Because like say, Black Mentor, they vex today. Ladies and gentlemen, Lady Nantoma. <sighs> How to become an elegant lady. If you're a beautiful woman, no need to miss this. The etiquette of being an elegant woman. How to define your own beauty. Live and feel beautiful. How to meet the affluent people for business relationships or romance. How to build a network of high caliber women. And how to know and shop for your body type. Some women don't know their body type, let alone say they want to shop for their body type. Hmm. Some people don't know how to be elegant. They will wear a bad on top of a shogu. Some people don't even know what their own beauty is. Ladies and gentlemen, for only $3.99, why don't you join Lady Nan Thomas' 
how to become an elegant lady masterclass 11th of december 2022 from 12 p.m to 4 p.m this is something you must never miss you must never miss this okay if you're a lady and you want you want to be top of your game hmm, you want to be able to catch a man like black mentor come with lady nantoma no teach them all the secret may they not collect black mentor for your hand though because you get the way you go tell them show them all your secret like this <laughs> They will just collect black mentor later. The black tormentor. Hmm. Lady Nantoma just can't declare, say, we have won the Star Wars. I said, how do you enter a show at the end and win the show? Hey. Black tormentor. Anyway, guys, don't forget to join Lady Nantoma, How to Become an Elegant Lady, the masterclass. Write this down. It's very important. On the 11th of December, 2022, from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., uh, 399 U.S. dollars. But I suppose this could be the best 399 U.S. dollars you have spent in a long time. Okay? So, guys, we're going to come again very soon. Joseph Nantoma and Lady Nantoma won the Star Wars. Even though Obianu Ju Quenta was so amazing today. Love her so much. Obianu Ju. Obiajulu. Obiajulu. Beautiful name, beautiful lady. Coco Boy Music also did well, but Obiajulu really, really showed him. Obiajulu is made of a special kind of rock that cannot be broken. Someone said 399 naira or dollars. If you see something 399 naira, you go buy them. You, you want to be, you, you, you want to. You want to be beautiful and you want to spend 390. Your lipstick way they buy now, 399, you buy a Naira. Please, please, please. It's US dollars. Dollars. Uh -huh. Work with people. A woman is her network. Her network guarantees her net worth. Don't jones on that. All right. My winner today is the Nantoma family, Black Mentor and Lady Nantoma. Beautiful people, absolutely wonderful people. Thank you guys so much for winning Star Wars and thank you for making my show memorable. See you guys tomorrow on Clash of the Supporters. Don't you miss it. Well, you're asking questions? You can send a DM to Lady Nantoma or the Black Mentor. They're both watching live. Um, send them a DM and I'm sure they'll put you through and more you'll hear more about this tomorrow on clash of the supporters because lady nantoma is one of the sponsors of clash of the supporters for tomorrow so watch out for that take care and god bless